Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to take notes and my tips and tricks for it. Start off by talking about what notebooks I like to use, especially for note taking. So one of my favorite notebooks of all time is the Kokoya Campus Binder Notebook. What I love about this is that it's both a binder and a notebook, so you can just take out the pages whenever you want, but it also have a spine like a notebook. You may need to buy the Kokoya Campus Loose Leaf paper in addition, but I think it's definitely worth the money. My second favorite notebook of all time is the Kokoya Campus Notebook. You have probably seen these notebooks a lot in anime if you're into that, but in general I really like it because it's really small and easy to carry around. I also think that the spine of the notebook itself is pretty strong and I highly recommend. My other favorite notebook is the Muji Notebook. I think that the Muji Notebook is very similar to the Kokoya Campus Notebook in terms of its benefits. Next we've got the Kokoya Campus Spiral Notebook. I think that these are definitely useful during fast lectures or if you want to write really fast notes. Highly recommend it. I also like to take notes on my iPad, but I will be talking about this in a later video. I'm going to next be talking about the materials that I like to use when I'm taking my notes. So typically I will use the Lihit Lab Pencil Case. I love to use the MyLiner highlighters. If you're into stationery, you know how popular these products are. They come in a variety of colors, and what I love about it is that it has two sides. One side of it is for highlighting, and there's another side that you can use to write with. In general, the quality of it is great, and I highly recommend. Next, we have the Pentel Energel Pen. If you follow me on TikTok, you know how much I like to talk about these. They're my favorite pens of all time and highly recommend. I also like to use the Muji pen and I've talked about these a couple of times. I really like the minimalistic style of it and it definitely has a really good flow. These are also super popular in the stationary community so I definitely think it's worth it. Next, I like to use the Tombow Fudenoski brush pens for my titles. I highly recommend these for beginners and especially if you're starting off with calligraphy. I also use these for titles, but I highly recommend for more advanced calligraphy writers. Okay, so now on to the actual note-taking process. For the notes that I'm going to be taking today, I'm just going to be using the Kokoya Campus Notebook paper. I won't always use these, I'll try my best to switch between materials. Okay, so now for the title of my notes. I really like to use the Fudanoski brush pen and I'll go in and write my title in a calligraphy format. If you're watching this video and you don't really have experience with calligraphy, don't worry. I'm going to make a video soon about titles and headers you can do without calligraphy. Or if you want to learn how to do it, I will definitely make a video about that. Since this video is about how I take notes, I typically like to go with a calligraphy title. I think that it definitely adds a fancy factor to my notes and it just enhances the whole thing. A lot of people ask me about how I write my titles during a fast lecture. I will typically first write down everything in pen, and when I go home, I will add in the title and extra details. Next, I will take a MyLiner highlighter and I'll just highlight the side of the title. I will occasionally add something else to the side. Okay, so on to the actual writing portion of my notes. This is just a time lapse of my notes, but I'm just going to be talking about my format and just tips in general. I will typically do is for a subtitle I will write out the word and then I'll highlight it using my MyLiner highlighter and under that subtitle I will start writing in the actual content of what I'm learning. Typically what works for me is the bullet point system. I really don't like to write in long paragraphs and I will occasionally use different symbols such as arrows, lines, and circles to signify something that's important in the material. I have tried multiple other techniques such as the Cornell technique, but that didn't really help me out personally, so I just like to use a normal bullet point system. A lot of you have asked me how do I take pretty notes during a fast lecture. To be honest, it really doesn't take that much skill or effort to take pretty notes during a fast lecture. Personally, I learned a lot through practice. And like I mentioned before, I will write everything in pen at school and then when I'm at home, I will add in the extra details such as the calligraphy title and highlighting the subtitles. But because I'm at home and taking online school, it has been really easy for me to just sit down and relax and take time with my notes. 
In terms of the actual content of the notes that I take, I try my best not to write down every single detail or every single word that the teacher is saying. Rather, I will summarize the points and take out extra words that don't really matter in the content. And over the years, I've just learned how to write really quickly. And if you're struggling to write quickly during a fast lecture, I think that it really just comes down to how much you practice. It's really not that hard. You will get better at it as time goes on. I also like to use a different color marker or fine liner pen to symbolize the vocab words. Or if it's a really fast lecture and I really just don't have time to take out all of my colored pens, what I will do is write everything in pen and I will go back in and highlight or underline all of the vocabulary terms. I like to typically use a color theme or I like to use different colors. Because personally, I was able to distinguish between different points more easily when I used different colors. I also highly recommend that you use some sort of color system or write in maybe a pen and a pencil to differentiate between vocab terms and the normal material. The notes that I'm taking right now didn't really require any diagrams or any math equations or anything like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and explain what I would do if I had any diagrams or charts that I had to use in my notes. Typically, what I will do is just take out some my liners or some fine liners and I will draw a vague picture of the image. If it's a more complicated class such as anatomy, which requires looking at diagrams, I will sometimes print out a sheet and I will cut the pictures and I will add it to my notes. But usually for harder classes with more diagrams, I like to tend towards using my iPad. Like I stated before, I will talk about that in a later video. If I have any math equations or any numbers that I have to write out, I will try my best to use different colors or what I will do is I will take my fine liner pen or my my liner and I will box that formula. This will just make it way easier and when you're looking back to your notes, it will just be nice and neat. Speaking of revising notes, I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes talking about that. A lot of people ask me why I spend so much time taking pretty notes and the reason why is it just makes revising way more easier. It just makes studying way more interesting and fun and you can add your own creativity and twist to it. I'm just going to show some examples of my notes so that you get an idea of how they typically look. Here are some of my math notes and you can see the format that I typically use and the things that I talked about. Once in a while, I will step out of this comfort zone and try something else that's new, but that's my typical format. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this content, please go follow my TikTok and my Insta. Thank you.